Hey guys, how are you doing? In this episode, we are going to see what are the iOS 18.2 non-Apple intelligence features or non-AI features that comes to iPhone 15, 15 plus and below models. If you are using iPhone 13, 14, then this video will definitely be helpful to you. Recently, I have published a video about why you should update immediately to iOS 18.2, highlighting the security fixes and bug fixes. So if you want to check that also, I leave some useful links links of recent videos uh, even with iPhone 15 Pro and above models if you are you know having any trouble with Apple intelligence features these video links will definitely be helpful to you check the pinned comment or the description to find those videos and right now we are going to see the list of non AI features or non Apple intelligence features that comes to iPhone and iPad after updating to iOS 18.2 so the very first thing is my iPhone 12 that I use it as a secondary iPhone which sits more most of the time in my work desk has 92% battery health and it performs you know like the iOS 18.2 since beta second version I've been monitoring that overall performance seems to be decent and with the latest release candidate developer beta Apple have done a good fine tuning for the older models like iPhone 12 and I'll bring a separate video that how the iOS 18.2 runs on iPhone 12 very soon. So don't forget to subscribe if you also like to hear about that. The very first non-Apple intelligence features that you know comes to iPhone 15, 15 plus and below model is Photos app gets some good fine tuning. Since the release of iOS 18, you know, people started to, many people started to hate the regular Photos app, you know, uh, that they were used to till iOS 17. With iOS 18, Apple have made some good changes. Unfortunately, that is not liked by many. And one of the important changes, like when you open a video or a photo, it now fills the entire screen instead of making you to tap it once again, you know, those gray color or black color borders have now been removed and the content will immediately comes to full screen filling the edges of the display and the second important thing is apple have made some changes to the recently viewed and recently saved section and whenever you close and open the photos app it will stay at wherever the place that you left like instead of making the navigation and selecting the photos a little bit difficult with ios 18.2 it is now much better and very usable compared to the previous iOS 18 version and within the utilities you can see the recently saved and recently viewed section now has the clear history option so inside this page you can access all the photos and videos that is recently opened that helps you to quickly access them if you have thousands of photos or if you are giving the device to someone then if they you know keep on browsing the photos and videos then all those data will be you know stored as a history here you can easily clear them now by tapping on the three dots at the top right corner the next important feature change is with the safari browser when you scroll down a little bit and click on edit you can now see new wallpapers the backgrounds of safari added to the collection and with the same safari browser when you navigate to settings app and then the apps section and navigate inside the safari settings you know when you scroll down a little bit you can see the history and website data now has new options you can now import and export the website and history data like if you are using Google Chrome and Firefox browser regularly and you want to move to Safari browser for some reasons Safari is definitely battery efficient for that important reason I normally use Safari on my iPhone and iPad with my Mac I use Google Chrome and Firefox but when it comes to the iPhone Safari works pretty much good for me you can now export and import the history if you want to move from Safari or move to Safari browser from you know with the third party web browsers and the next important feature changes with the find my application you can now share the item location like if you are using air tag or any third party trackers with find my support this share item location feature will be definitely useful like if the baggage or something you know some package is missed that has the air tag or the find my uh, you know enabled accessory you can share the item location with the airline or with you know a trusted contact so that so they will be able to locate the baggage that has the air tag or you know the find my tracker and you will get 
the updated location details quickly which makes the air tag and overall this find my uh, finding you know of your important missing luggage or packages a lot easier and one more important change is when you navigate within the settings application scroll down to access the apps section and at the top you now have the default apps selection for email messaging calling call filtering browser app the passwords and codes and keyboards can be set to third party applications if you don't want to use the ios stock keyboard the calling the phone application you know instead of the phone app if you want to set other application as a default uh, calling application you can of course select that now and with the browser if you want to use google chrome or firefox as a third party you know the browser as the default one you can of course change it so whenever you open certain applications or links with any other applications you know that will automatically open this as a default application i wish they also brings the maps and navigation feature where in some countries people use google maps as the default and they want to use it as a map application across the devices i hope it will be added in future updates and the next important change is with the mail app we now have a well categorized selection of mail experience where you know similar to the third party applications Apple now you know completely categorizes and uh, organize each and every message that you receive so that based on the priority whether it is a just a banking transaction notification or you know any other important message you will be able to identify and access them quickly and the next important feature is within the settings accessibility and audio and visual you now have always show volume control toggle separately so once you enable it instead of using the physical volume side buttons you know on the left side of your iphone you can now see the on screen control while a music or any video is being played and you try to control them uh, the playback controls on your lock screen this feature was there you know uh, till ios 16 and apple have removed it for some reason with ios 17 and now they brought it back with ios 18.2 I hope they don't remove this feature once again with iOS 19 release. And the next feature is when you navigate to settings, a personal hotspot and you connect your Mac computer with your iPhone, now you can start using iPhone mirroring feature. Previously, you need to connect to Wi-Fi. Your Mac and the iPhone have to be connected to a separate Wi-Fi network, you know, Wi-Fi router connection in order to use this screen mirroring feature. But right now, Apple, like if you are roaming and you want to pair your mac with the iphone hotspot and you're using internet on your mac this method then this will be the easiest way and apple have finally listened and enabled this feature so the iphone personal hotspot can now be used to mirror your iphone screen on your mac computer so overall this ios 18.2 has these set of features and it also brings 20 plus high critical security fixes as explained in our previous episode i leave a link to them in the description and even if you are not care about these feature mainly for those bug fixes and security fixes Fixes, you may consider updating to the iOS 18.2 on your device. If you're still using iOS 17 and thinking about updating to iOS 18.2, then our recent episode that I have provided link in the description in the first comment will help you make the final decision. I hope this video gave some good idea about iOS 18.2 non-Apple intelligence features or non-AI features. Thank you so much for watching. For more, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.